in this lecture we are going to discuss topic domain of dependence and region of influence of the cauchy problem of wave equation consider the cauchy problem utt minus e square du x x equal 0 for minus infinity less than x less than infinity t greater than 0 with the conditions u of x is 0 equal to f of x ut x is 0 equal to g of x for minus infinity less than x less than infinity you know this is the cauchy problem for wave equation now consider uh, x t plane uh, we know the characteristics are given by x minus t equal to a constant and x plus t equal to a constant so at the point x naught t naught uh, <coughs> at the point initial point x naught t naught uh, the characteristics are given by x minus t equal to x naught minus e t naught and x plus t t equal to x naught plus c t naught we already discussed this before okay now uh, so uh, this are uh, this is the uh, these are the characteristics. This is uh, <coughs> the point x naught. This is the point x naught t naught. So this will be x naught and this is t naught. And uh, uh, so uh, these characteristics are uh, intersected the x axis. This is the uh, line x minus t equal to x naught minus c t naught. And this is the characteristic which are the characteristics are lines. So here uh, the second characteristic is x plus c t equal to x naught plus c t naught. So these characteristics are intersect at the uh, on uh, the x axis at these points x naught minus c t naught and x naught plus c t naught so uh, the intersecting points are given by actually uh, x my x naught minus c t naught comma 0 and x naught plus c t naught comma 0 okay that is because uh, when x uh, x equal 0 here we have uh, uh, t when c t equal 0 we have x equal to x naught minus c t naught that is this and when x when t equal 0 here x equal to x naught plus c t naught so these are the characteristics okay <clears throat> now uh, this triangle uh, this triangle form formed by these characteristics and this interval we have this integral interval x minus c t naught uh, to x uh, x naught plus c t naught and these characteristics are uh, characteristics uh, i mean uh, the triangle given by or formed by uh, this baseline, uh, the interval x naught minus c t naught, comma x naught uh, x naught plus c t naught, and these characteristics. That means this character, this triangle is called a characteristic triangle. Okay, this character, this uh, triangle is called a characteristic triangle. So, so the characteristic triangle is actually the uh, triangle formed by the characteristics and the base uh, interval. That is uh, the interval. Of the interval x naught minus c t naught and uh, comma x naught plus t t c t naught. So this triangle is called, uh, I mean, <coughs> the characteristic triangle. Okay, so this is the characteristic triangle. Now we have by uh, DLMS formula, we have at the point x naught t naught, the value of u is nothing but u of x naught t naught is equal to 1 by 2 into f of x naught plus c t naught plus f of x naught minus c t naught. Uh, plus uh, 1 by 2 c into integral <coughs> x naught minus c t naught to x naught plus c t naught g of s ds. So the value of uh, actually the value of u at the point x naught t naught is determined only with this f and this g from x naught uh, minus c t naught to x naught plus c t naught. That means here f is actually at the point x naught plus c t naught <coughs> and here f is at the point x naught minus c t naught. So uh, we have that points are given by this x naught. This is the x naught minus c t naught and this is x naught plus c t naught. So uh, we are we are finding the solution. Actually, we are discussing about the solution of u, a solution u at the point x naught t naught. So uh, the solution u at the point x naught t naught is uh, determined only by using uh, the f value at these two points and uh, the g value from this uh, this line okay and this uh, from x naught minus c t naught to x naught plus c t naught that is because we have at the point x naught t naught u is nothing but 1 by 2 into f of x naught plus c t naught this is actually the value of f at the point x naught plus c t naught value of f at the point x naught plus c t naught this the value of f at the point this only and second is f of x naught minus c t naught which is the value of f at the point x naught minus c t naught this point okay 
and uh, the second in the, uh, the integral is nothing but the value of g is depends only on the value of g from uh, x0 minus c t0 to x0 plus c t0 okay x0 minus c t0 to x0 plus c t0 uh, okay therefore we can say that the value of u at the point x0 t0 is determined by the values of f at the vertices of the characteristics that means at the vertices of the characteristics means these are uh, these are the vector vertices of the characteristics okay these are the characteristics and these are the vertices of the characteristics <coughs> so uh, the value of f at the vertices of the characteristics the characteristics base and the uh, value of g along uh, this base this base means uh, the baseline x0 minus c0 to x0 plus c u of x, x0 t0 depends only on the part of the initial data that is given in the interval x0 minus c t0 comma x0 plus c t0 that means uh, the value of u at that point x0 t0 depends only on the uh, the initial data means the initial data uh, that means f and g that is uh, given in the initial in interval this x minus x0 minus c t0 comma x0 plus c t0 okay so this interval is called domain of uh, dependence of u at the point x0 t0 so th that interval is called uh, the interval uh, the, the domain of dependence of the uh, solution u at the point x0 t0 okay now uh, if we change the initial data in that case if we change the initial data at points outside this interval then the value of the solution u at x0 y t0 will not change because uh, we know we, we are discussing here that u of x0 t0 depends only on the uh, on this line okay depends on this line only so if you are changing the initial data initial data means f and g if you are changing the the value of the initial data outside this interval if you are changing outside the, the value of the initial data f and g outside this interval then uh, it will not affect the solution uh, u at the point x0 t0 okay that is if we change the initial data at the points outside this interval then the value of the solution u at the point x0 t0 will not change okay it will be same <coughs> now uh, that, that means uh, information on a change in the data uh, data means f and g that is information on a change in the data travels with speed, speed c along the characteristic we already know that uh, the in, uh, the change in the data i mean the information on the change in the data travels along the characteristics with the speed c okay because we have the forward and the backwards are given by f of x plus ct and f of x minus ct etc uh, <coughs> that is x plus ct equal to this etc so uh, therefore such information is not available for t less than or equal to t0 at the point x0 clear because uh, we have uh, these are our characteristics so we we uh, we are given uh, we have already discussed that your information uh, on a change in the data that is in the f and g with the speed c along will be along characteristic okay so this is the point x naught t naught that means here this is t naught okay so such information is not available for t less than or equal to t naught at the point x naught so at this point x naught uh, the information is not available at these points okay that is uh, uh, here described okay so hence uh, for every point x comma t in a fixed uh, characteristic triangle in a fixed characteristic triangle for every point x comma t we have u of x t is determined only by the initial data that are given on the characteristic base clear that are given on the characteristic base that means for any pair uh, for any point x comma t in a fixed characteristic triangle uh, u of x t is determined only by the initial data that are given on the uh, characteristic base characteristic base means this okay this is the characteristic base okay so also uh, the initial data uh, are smooth if the initial data are smooth uh, if the initial data f and g are smooth uh, on this characteristic base then the solution is smooth or the solution u is smooth uh, in the wall triangle okay so we have concluded that uh, for a fixed point x0 comma t0 uh, there will be uh, a triangle okay a characteristic triangle like this so for that characteristic triangle 
for uh, every point x comma t on that characteristic triangle the solution u of x t so solution u at the point x t is determined only by the initial data on this characteristic base clear that is what what is we have dis discussed now now uh, now suppose we are uh, we have uh, uh, th there may be a question uh, arise uh, th that uh, uh, if we are considering a fixed uh, interval ab okay if we are considering a fixed interval ab now which are the points on the half plane this is half plane t greater than 0 which are the points on the half plane t greater than 0 uh, that are influenced by the initial data on this uh, interval okay early we are discussed that for for a fixed point uh, x naught comma t naught uh, fixed initial point x naught comma t naught actually uh, we are we have obtained a, a fixed triangle uh, uh, characteristic triangle then we we uh, observed that the for any point x comma t on this uh, fixed, fixed triangle u of x t is determined only uh, the initial data uh, is determined only by the initial data on this uh, characteristic base now if you are fixing a, 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 a an interval a b now uh, which are the points uh, on the half plane that is t greater than 0 which are the points of here uh, for uh, that is t greater than 0 uh, that are influenced by the uh, the initial uh, uh, data on this AB. The set of all such points uh, is called the region of influence. Region of influence. Okay. Set of all such set of all such points are called is called the region of influence. That is uh, the set of all points on the half plane t greater than zero that are influenced by the initial data on the fixed interval AB. Okay is called the region of influence of the interval AB. Okay. That is the set of all points on the half plane t greater than 0 that are influenced by the initial data on the fixed interval AB is called the region of influence of uh, the interval AB. Now from the uh, above discussion it follows that uh, the points of this interval influence the value of the solution u at the point x0 t0 if and only if uh, the intersection of these two intervals is not equal to phi that is non empty that is this interval is actually for x naught t naught this is the base characteristic uh, okay. that is uh, x naught minus c t naught comma x naught plus t t naught intersection a a comma b is not equal to phi okay that therefore uh, the initial data along the interval a b influence only the points x t that satisfy in these two conditions that is x minus c t less than or equal to b and x plus ct greater than or equal to a because we have uh, for a b for the uh, interval a b this this is actually x plus t a equal to a this is x minus t a equal to uh, x minus ct equal to a and this is x plus ct equal to b this is the line x plus x minus ct equal to b so this is our interval a b clear so this uh, from this we can say that actually uh, the x minus c naught uh, x minus x naught minus c t naught in degree uh, comma x naught plus c t naught intersection a b is not equal to phi means that here actually uh, th that means x plus c t naught uh, x minus c t e should be less than or equal to b that is this line th this should be less than or equal to b so this is the this interval and uh, x plus c t is greater than or equal to here okay so uh, this is actually uh, these are the uh, I mean the points inside the truncated characteristic cone that is uh, defined by the base a b and the urges this uh, x minus ct equal to b and x minus x plus ct equal to a that is the union of actually this is these are the this is the union of uh, 1 2 3 these regions 1 2 3 4 okay union of these four regions okay that is the set of all uh, points uh, on the half plane uh, that are uh, influenced by the interval uh, I mean the influenced by the uh, initial conditions or initial data on this interval a b is the set of all points on this region okay one union of 1 2 3 and 4 okay in that region yeah. now uh, so uh, we if 
Now, if we assume uh, the initial data f and g vanish outside the interval a v, if you are assuming uh, the, uh, the initial data is uh, r zero uh, outside this interval a v, okay, then uh, we can say that the amplitude u of the string is zero at every point outside the influence region of this interval. Okay, therefore uh, the amplitude u will be zero uh, at every point. Uh, outside the influence region. This is the influence region. So, uh, also at, at, at every point u, uh, at every point x comma t outside the influence region, uh, it will be zero. Okay. Then, uh, so uh, the, the solution will be zero. Now, on the other hand, for a fixed point x naught, okay, for a fixed point x naught on the string. The effect of the perturbation on the zero data that is f and g that is effect of some small changes in the uh, the initial data f and g along the interval a b will be felt after uh, after a time t greater than or equal to zero and for large values of t the solution will have a constant value which will be this u of x naught comma t is equal to one by two c into integral uh, integral a to b g of s d s. Because we have uh, our uh, solution is nothing but u of x naught comma t is equal to one by two into f of x naught plus c t plus uh, f of x naught minus c t plus one by two c into integral uh, x uh, x naught minus c t to x naught plus c t uh, g of s b s. Okay, so here we have actually uh, for large values of t. For large values of t, this x naught plus c t and x naught minus c t, x naught minus c t converges to uh, this. For large values of t, we have, I mean, x naught minus c t. This will be actually x naught will be here. So uh, x naught minus c t is actually will be. Uh, suppose if we are taking any value on uh, this is actually we we suppose that. Uh, on the other hand, for a fixed value or uh, x naught on the string, the effect of the perturbation that is changes in f and g along the interval a b. Okay, so we have if you are taking any uh, x naught here and we are allowing uh, t to infinity, so x naught minus t t x naught minus c t is converges to minus infinity. So it will be converges to minus infinity and x naught plus c t converges to infinity. Right. So we we are assumed that uh, the value of f and g is r zero at the outside this interval a b. So uh, it, it, will, it will be it will be it will have any effect at the on the interval a b only. So we have uh, as t tends to infinity, we will have this f of x plus c t is actually it will become uh, less than this x naught plus c t will become less than a. And x not sorry x x not plus c t will become uh, larger than b and x not minus c t become less than uh, a. So uh, the value of f will be zero and at these two points. And this will become as x tends to uh, uh, t tends to infinity. This will become minus infinity and this will become infinity. So the non-zero values will be only uh, a to b. So it will be actually this 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 can be this from a b and this interval becomes minus infinity to a a to b and b to infinity. So as t tends to infinity, so it will affect only on the non-zero value will be only on uh, a b. So this will be a to b on by two c into a to b g of s ds and this will be zero. So for large values of t we will have u of x naught is equal to one by two c. Uh, integral a to b g of s ds which will be a constant and this point or this value will be uh, occurs at the points x naught t that are inside the con x naught minus c t less than or equal to a and x naught plus c t greater than or equal to b that means uh, here in this uh, in this for region okay x naught minus c t less than or equal to a is will be here and x naught plus c t greater than or equal to b in this region it will be uh, and the value value of uh, u will be constant, and th that constant value will be uh, this u of x naught t equal to one by two c integral a to b g of s ds. Okay, and this will be uh, in the region that is in the region uh, for for I think that is in the region for okay will be in this region. 